In Dying Light 2, there's a challenge you can do that'll allow you to use a hoverboard. But what many of you don't know is that there's also a glitch that can allow you to use this hoverboard in free roam. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. Now, before I continue with this video, I'd like to ask you guys to please leave a like and to subscribe to the channel if you find yourself coming back and so that you don't miss out on any new content that I post. But with that being said, let's get right into it. Now, first, you want to head over to this area right here into this church or cathedral, whatever it's called. And then you want to find some cables that you would usually find in power plants. You then want to grab this cable and then head straight up, follow the route that I'm taking to plug it in. Once you do that, you'll be able to access this radio and listen in on our good old friends Togan Fatin. Just to let you guys know this was here long before the update, so it's nothing new. Toga, is it working? It is, it is. Be quiet, I'm transmitting. Liquidator, come in. Liquidator, come in. Give me that. You don't know how to do it. You have to hold the button while you speak. Back off. I'm holding it, aren't I? Do I look like that monkey, Kyle? I know how it works, Fatin. Liquidator, come in. And nothing. Ha! <laughs> Got to hold the button. <sighs> Liquidator, if you can hear us, we have remodeled the car according to your blueprint. <laughs> More like, according to Dr. Emmett's blueprint. Whatever, Tolga. What's important is it seems to be working. We're ready to make the leap. We'll be waiting in the designated B613 region. See you there. Once you're done listening to it, you want to grab this hoverboard right here. There'll be two more hoverboards that you'll need to get in order to continue. The first one is located right in front of the Baba's place, right up against this wall. Now the next one isn't too far, it's right on this bridge. And then after you get it, you can head over to this area right here and open the trunk of this car. Now here comes the annoying part. The next step involves you having a friend to send you an invite to their game. Now when your friend sends you this invite, you want to accept it, and when you accept it, the game will take a while to put you in their game. But in that time, you want to be ready to start the challenge. Now you want to time it so that when you start the challenge, like right when you get into it, you load into the challenge, the game puts you in your friend's game. In other words, you got to time it perfectly. Now you'll know you've got it done once you join the game and you have the hoverboard in your inventory. The next step, you need to drop it for your friend to pick up. Once they pick it up, you want to quit to the main menu, get another invite to their game, join their game, and then have your friend drop it for you to pick up. Now for safety purposes, I recommend putting it in your stash, then quitting to the menu, and then getting back into your own game. And if you follow these steps properly, you'll have a hoverboard that you can use in free roam. Now that's it for the video. If you guys want to know how you can get your hands on the glitch shotgun, check out this video right here. But if you want to know which crossbow in the game is the best, check out this video instead. But once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.